Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go. Report number 56061, Class Alpha. Submitted by witness on Saturday, December 3rd, 2016. Nighttime sighting by a husband and wife driving near Rock Mart. Year 2016. Season, winter, month, December. Date, 3rd. State, Georgia. County, Harrelson County. Location details, one and a half mile up Vincent Mountain Road after turning off Highway 120, left side of road across from a church. Nearest road, Highway 120 and Vincent Mountain Road. Observed. On our way home to Rock Mart, Georgia from Birmingham, Alabama, we were following the directions the GPS gave for the distance. This brought us to Highway 120 and Vincent Mountain Road. We had just made that turn and gone a mile and a half when my husband and myself saw a large figure standing in the tree line. There was illumination coming from the right side of the road from an additional light source other than our car headlights. This enabled us to clearly see this figure that was on the left side of the road with one arm straight down and the other arm slightly moving. I believe that arm movement is what caught our attention making us both look to our left clearly allowing us both to view this creature. It was covered in reddish brown fur from head to toe with a face I can only describe as ape-like. It appeared to be over seven feet tall. He, she seemed to be getting ready to cross the road. After about 15 seconds passed, he and I both screamed out, Did you just see what I saw? I have never been a big believer in the legend of Bigfoot. But I know what I saw tonight, and I am floored. I have never written to any site such as this about anything in my life, and I certainly didn't think I would start at 56 years old. Thank you for your time. Also noticed, nothing else I can think of. Other witnesses, too, myself and my husband. Time and conditions. 10.30 approximately, and it was drizzling after we have been without significant rainfall in over 30 days. We are in extreme drought. Environment, forest. There was a small store right at the intersection, and the, sh the short way down to where we saw this creature is also a church. I think the floodlight from the church was where the backup backlight came allowing us to see the creature. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator David Bacara. I spoke with both witnesses and they both seemed level-headed and still excited about what they had seen that night. It was approximately 10.30 p.m. when both witnesses and their 20-year-old daughter sleeping in the back seat were headed home to Rock Mart, Georgia from Birmingham, Alabama on the night of December 3rd, 2016. It was raining a light drizzle, which was a welcome change as Georgia is in the midst of a statewide drought. It was the first sign of any precipitation in two months. After turning onto Vincent Mountain Road and traveling approximately one and a half miles, the wife noticed a slight movement on the left side of the road. It was approximately 50 feet ahead, and the car was traveling at 45 miles per hour. It was slightly illuminated from the parking lots 
lights from a church directly across the street. The witnesses stated if it wasn't for the slight movement it made, they may not have seen it. It was described as standing between two trees, approximately 15 feet from the car, 7 to 8 feet tall, covered in red, orangish brown hair, with the face of a mix between a man and a gorilla. The witnesses stated they believed the movement that drew their attention was that of its left arm. They watched it for a total of about six seconds. The wife stated it acted like it was about to step out and cross the road. The creature watched the couple go by as they observed it. As they passed it, the wife was able to look back through the rear glass as it was still in the church lights. It wasn't until they had drove down the road about another mile that the husband asked if she had seen anything back there. They both agreed immediately they had just seen a Bigfoot. These witnesses stated that they can't imagine it was anything else as it was too tall to be a person in costume. Report number 57884, Class Alpha, submitted by witness on Saturday, July 15, 2017. Nighttime Road Crossing Outside Parish. Year 2017. Season, Summer. Month, July. T date, 10th. State, Florida. County, Manatee County. Location details. Wooded to the right side of the road where it exited the highway. Nearest town, Parish. Nearest road, Highway 62. Observed. Monday, July 10th, 2017. 5.15 a.m. While driving home from an all-night fishing trip at Tampa Bay, we were about two miles outside of Parrish, Florida. There was a car ahead of us and we were about ten car lengths behind. This creature waited for the car ahead of us to pass and ran across between our two cars. It was running upright on two legs. It was huge and fast. It didn't have the shoulder motion that a human has when they run Manatee Sheriff contacted. Also noticed, the shoulders didn't swing or move when it ran very short or no neck, only seen the feet hit twice and it was in the grass and gone. Other witnesses, two saw it, three smelled it, but four in our vehicle. Granddaughter was asleep. Other stories talked to the Manatee Sheriff and they said there are reports from time to time. <clears throat> we live in a neighboring county. We are not familiar with that area. Time and conditions, 515 AM, Environment Woods. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator R. Monteith. On the early morning of July 10th, before sunrise, the family mom, dad, adult son, and granddaughter were driving eastbound on Highway 62 after a night of fishing on Tampa Bay. They were outside Parish when a large bipedal figure crossed the road about 10 car lengths ahead of them, left to right. They were able to see the figure in the taillights of the car in front of them and their own headlights. The car immediately was filled with a horrible smell. The mom and dad in the front seat saw the figure. The passengers in the back did not, however, they did smell the odor. The car was traveling at about 70 miles per hour and both witnesses claim it showed intelligence as it waited for the first car to pass and quickly crossed the road in two big steps. There were no street lights. The Bigfoot was dark in color, running stiffly without any arm swing in the car's high beam lights. The dad said it had been had very long legs. Both witnesses spoke over each other, describing odor as a strange mix of polecat, musky, swamp water, 
and sulfur. On the morning of the crossing, the mom called the Manatee County Sheriff's Office to report it and spoke to a deputy who admitted they have calls like this from time to time in that area. BFRO investigator, investigator David Bacara and myself, as well as other Florida investigators, have spoken to the couple about this incident. The mom and dad are both still very disturbed and overwhelmed about what they saw and are still trying to come to terms with the event almost a year later. The area is remote with ranches and farms spread far apart, just north of Mayaka River State Park. BFRO David Bacara assisted in this investigation. 